What's up guys, my name is Raptor and today I'm bringing you guys episode 2 of how to grow your channel and today we're going to be talking about how to get a freedom partnership which is probably the easiest partnership you can get out there other than AC Finn and I'll go over AC Finn in another episode. Anyway, these are the requirements for freedom and it's a pretty large network, you guys should all know what freedom is. So first of all, you need 33 views a day which is roughly a thousand views a month, uh, 10 videos already on your channel as of the application. Your channel needs to be a month old and you need to have at least five subscribers. So as you guys can see, the requirements are extremely easy to obtain and they're extremely low. And I doubt that any of you will get rejected unless you just made your channel. But is full is freedom really worth getting partnered by? Well, I've been a freedom partner for about two weeks now and I don't know everything, but I have been doing some pretty extensive uh, research and homework for you guys and I've made a list of pros and cons and uh, yeah anyway let's get into the pros uh, you make money and you get par all the partner benefits at a small size you don't get uh, fan funding which is unfortunate but I don't really get a lot of fan support uh, because I don't ask for it and I don't really need it and you guys don't have to think that you have to like I don't know any anyway, let's just uh, change the subject anyway um, you make money and get p partner benefits at a small size this really doesn't matter because since you're such a small channel you won't be making that much money anyway and if you get a thousand views a month say your CPM is like I don't know my CPM is like three dollars you make three dollars a month that's thirty six dollars a year I mean I guess that's thirty six dollars you wouldn't have otherwise but is it really worth it I don't know uh, a good thing about them is there is no minimum payout which means that if you make a, a penny you will get that penny in your PayPal or they will send it, you a check in the mail which is pretty sweet and the dashboard allows full transparency which means they have pretty real time uh, analytics and stuff but when you first get partnered it takes a while for your channel to like cross over into the dashboard and you won't be seeing any analytics for about a week which is unfortunate speaking of the dashboard it is pretty sweet um, it's kind of unorganized sometimes but it's uh, they have forms and they have sponsorships where they're not really easily obtainable for the channels that they're partnering but for the for you big guys out there with over 10,000 subscribers you probably aren't watching this channel because you're already um, partnered and stuff you probably aren't watching this video but hey if you if you have 10,000 subscribers and you're watching this sign up with freedom you can get a control freaks uh, sponsorship game DS iron computer iron side computers very uh, high quality sponsorships for you guys and stuff like that for you smaller guys they have very very large audio galleries which uh, you can download and stuff like that they don't offer free gameplays or anything like that but they offer music that is copyright free and you won't get uh, copyright notices and content ID claims speaking of content ID claims for you people that are pretty in-depth with the YouTube channels they do not uh, offer managed channels um, I gotta think of a way I can explain this see managed channels when you get a strike or a, a community guideline strike or a copyright strike it goes against the network too and it can help you fight it but if you're just affiliated then that means the strike only goes against you and your network doesn't really care now the thing about freedom is that they used to advertise that all uh, partners were managed but now it's mainly affiliated channels that are uh, getting partnered and unfortunately I am one of those affiliated channels I'm trying to get my my channel uh, managed because when I was over at full screen my channel was managed and uh, yeah I'm, I, I kind of miss being managed actually it doesn't really do a lot but if I ever got a copyright strike I'd have to deal with it on my own which is kind of a kind of a pro but um, anyway uh, I also found out that this is kind of like a preference thing I don't know if it's really you know there but I feel like the ads on my my videos show a lot more than I did with uh, when I was with full screen and that will probably make more money uh, for me eventually but I'm not in YouTube for the money and I guess it's just kind of there for the status and everything now let's get into some into some cons so I've been reading a lot of reviews and a lot of people have been saying that they haven't been getting paid by freedom like June and July those big months where a lot of people have grown their channels and they're getting a lot of views and subscribers and stuff people are saying that they aren't getting paid and hopefully this just happens to them and it's not like a, a wide thing because I don't want that to happen to me because if it does I will leave freedom immediately I don't because people use this use YouTube as a career you know they they support their lives off of this stuff you can't just say oh yeah fuck them I'm not gonna uh, give them their money this year sorry for my language anyway uh, another thing about freedom that isn't really a good thing is that they're a large network and they have plenty of partners and their support while 
they aren't the slowest like TGN or anything like that they do take a while to get back to you and um, that's that's like a small gripe that's kind of like nitpicking I mean it's not too bad but uh, another thing they're starting rev revenue share which is how much uh, how big of a cut they take from your your payment is 60% which is isn't that great that's what my rev share was with uh, full screen and I was able to bump it up to 70 30 and I know that they have like these freedom points which I don't understand how they work I've been partnering with them for a week now and I still don't understand how they work they kind of I don't know I think they kind of dropped the ball with that but you can get up to 110 percent rev share pretty much impossible I don't think anybody's ever done that yet but you can increase your rev share and uh, I'm gonna ask them if they can increase my rev share because I'm a larger channel and I think I deserve it but uh, man this video is getting kind of long anyway what I recommend a full, a full I keep saying full screen a freedom partnership I would if you were over 500 subscribers and you have a pretty active fan base and I say this because if you are under 100 subscribers and you're if you're only getting 33 views a day this isn't really gonna benefit your channel showing ads on on such a small channel that'll just make people click away from it because if you don't have good content and people aren't clicking on your videos to watch you and they see an ad pop up like they're giving you a chance to to show what your channel is about and you're showing them an ad to make a little bit of money it's just it's not worth it in my opinion you got you have to build your audience I'd say get about 500 subscribers get about a hundred views a day and then maybe go for it and uh, maybe you'll make a little bit of money off the on the side you know some people some young entrepreneurs maybe trying to get a little quick buck here and there I wouldn't say start YouTube just for the money but if you have a big enough channel and you want to make a make a couple dollars hey power to you anyway oh actually you know what let me get into the CPM too so they advertise a two to twenty two dollar CPM depending on your channel content and right now I have a three dollar and fifty cent CPM which is like five times the amount of money that I was making with full screen and uh, for the short while that I've been partnered with them I've made pretty much a dollar already which isn't a lot but uh, it's way more than I made with full screen in the first year so if that's any indication yeah but this video is getting really really long so I'm gonna leave it off here my next channel I'll be reviewing is probably AC Finn which is another small network for smaller channels um, anyway if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel I really appreciate it and uh, make sure you smack that like button and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out homies